Okay, so I did think about calling you guys book bitches because I'm in that kind of mood. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a shorter video. It's going to be kind of vlog style. I just was feeling really inspired. I'm a little hopped up right now on sugar and caffeine and I got the adrenaline going just like any human that is in 2020 at this very moment. Not sure if I have any other fellow writers out there, but I kind of am obsessed with writing vlogs. Why am I oversharing about my novel right now? Because I just ended up writing a lot and I'm like hopped up on those writer fumes. No, I'm not on drugs except for caffeine and sugar, but I thought I would share a little bit about my work in progress right now. <laughs> some of y'all think that I talk too quietly. Some of y'all think that my microphone is soft. Joke's on you, I don't have a microphone. Okay, I guess he's gonna take that with us. I did not write today. I did write an article for work. So technically I did write, but I did not work on my novel at all. This is day two of me trying to write chapter four. It's not going well. By trying to write chapter four, I mean I'm laying on the couch next to my dog and we're taking a nap together. Also, y'all, I look ragged, but it's me. This is gonna be me for now. I've never filmed one of these before, so you guys can let me know if you are interested in this type of video or not, or if you don't care about it or whatever it is. When I think of YouTubers, I think of like beautiful people with like circle lights and great microphones and all that. They got a circle light. I've got circles under my eyes. They got a microphone. I got pimples. This summer I worked on my outline for my novel and it's about like 30 something pages. Yes, I know that's crazy, but I'm writing a crime fiction novel and the thing with crime fiction is that because it's a very detail oriented genre and because the plot kind of pivots on small details, you really need to lay out the plot. With crime novels, it would be very difficult to try to write one without an outline and I actually did try to do that and that's the reason why it took me four years, the novel failed, and there were lots of plot holes because I did not outline. Anyway, so I ended up spending a couple months on my outline this summer and then I tried to write the first chapter and the first chapter took me forever to write like a month granted I was also working I was moving and I was avoiding it above all that was it I honestly was avoiding it that was like a few weeks ago so then I was kind of stuck on chapter two because my chapter one and my chapter two are two different POVs so they both kind of feel like a chapter one it takes a long time for me at least to figure out the voice of the character and it's very difficult for me to understand a character's personality until I'm writing in their voice. Chapter one took me a long time. Chapter two, I was just avoiding. And when I finally wrote it, it took me about two days, which was not too bad because it's like about seven pages. And then chapter three, I wrote in an afternoon, but it was a very short chapter. So I have my first three chapters written. They've been edited by myself, by my friend, and I've kind of feel like I can set them aside right now because I need some time to pass before I can like do some serious line editing. So now I'm on chapter four and I've been trying to write chapter four for <laughs> I've been trying to write chapter four for three days. The thing is that I had a drunken wine night last night with my friends over FaceTime. I did not finish chapter four yesterday, which was my original plan. And so today I want to write chapter four. Now it is now like, what is it, like 1 p.m.? No. It was indeed 1 p.m. I don't even know what month we're in, to be honest. Yeah, my goal for today is to write chapter four. We'll see how it goes. Okay, somebody took my seat. So I guess I just can't write. The issue with trying to write chapter four today is that I kind of want to do it quickly because for my actual work, I have a 2,000 word script due by Sunday, which is tomorrow. <laughs> and I haven't started it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm procrastinating my actual work, which actually pays me, which I, sh I should be prioritizing. I'm procrastinating my actual work with my schoolwork. We'll see how this goes. Right now, I have 433 words for chapter four, which is like a page and a quarter. It's not that much at all. Um, this I wrote the other day. This chapter is really important, and I think that's why I'm sort of nervous to continue writing it, because it's when my protagonist and my secondary character meet. They meet through the lens of the secondary character. So my protagonist, her POV is chapter one and three, while my secondary character is chapter two and four. So this is when their stories collide. While the inciting incident of the story has already happened, happened in chapter one, this is really when things start to take off. I'm nervous for them to meet because I 
yes, I know they're not real people, okay? But I am nervous for them to meet because I want to make this right. Like, it's one conversation and it has to be perfect. By the way, it's not a romantic meeting. The protagonist is a 25-year-old named Kate. All of this may change, by the way. Usually I'm very hesitant to talk about my work while it's still very much not solidified. And so things are gonna change. I think that kind of makes it cool. Sharing the journey of writing this and how the story is like morphing into its own thing. The protagonist, Kate's like mid-20s and the secondary character, her name is Isla and she is a bit older. She's like maybe 30. I don't actually have an exact number in my head for her, but it's fine. She accidentally almost runs over Kate with her car and <laughs> then tries to help her, so. <laughs> okay, enough stalling, let's get crack a -lack. So I am struggling a little bit to get into the flow of things, but I have written about 200 words. I am struggling a little bit to pick up where I left off because I had stopped writing this chapter sort of like in the middle of it, and now I have to kind of get back into things. My characters are just about to speak, and I'm getting a bit anxious, but I think things will be okay. All right, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so I had to take a quick break because Pip was crying and I needed to see what was wrong, but really, it turns out he wanted to play with the cat. They literally play together all the time, like this. It makes me so happy. Yes, I know that looks violent, but I promise they're having fun. I am at 878 words. I feel pretty good. I still have some more writing to do for this chapter, but I just had to take a break to look, check on the animals. By the way, the cat is on the table and the dog is in the cat tree. Pip! <laughs> he loves climbing. I'll just show you guys real quick. We got this treat for the cat. Pip loves it. He absolutely loves it. He's like... <laughs> You saucy boy. He's literally just chilling in the cat tree. Like, he just does this. I don't understand. Okay, so I'm at 1,143 words. Let's go. Okay, so I'm at 1656, and I'm almost done. Home stretch. Okay, I'm done. I'm at 1,834 words, which is just barely over six pages because I have a lot of dialogue, but yeah. Oh my gosh, there we go. Oh, I'm so happy. I feel so like I'm on such a high right now. I really liked how this chapter turns out. It's like really spooky and creepy. I love it. Ugh. Sometimes I get really down with writing, as I think everybody does, but when I finish a chapter, no matter, you know, how good or not the chapter is, I just feel so accomplished. I just feel so good because I got it done. This went well. I'm very happy with this. Maybe I'll do some more of these if you guys are interested. It doesn't need to be something I do all the time, but, you know, every once in a while, just because I know for myself, having a time lapse going really helped me accountable, really made me just have to push through. I'm just so glad I finished. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna print this out and I'm gonna do some editing. I'm gonna read it over. I actually should do my work work, but it is due tomorrow. So maybe I'll just do it tomorrow. Oh my gosh. All right guys, I'm sorry. It's so messy right here. Here we go. What do you think? What do you think? Oh my God, that cat's gonna kill me one day. Yes, lost bitches. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my god. <laughs> that cat is demonic. Here we go. I ended up talking to my friend for like an hour today on the phone while I walked Pip, so I don't have any footage from our walk and our visit to McDonald's. Since it's getting a bit late, I'm just going to wrap up some editing on chapter four, send it to my friend, and be done with writing. <laughs> made my edits on the actual copy and now I'm going to apply them to the electronic copy. Good morning. Good morning. Look, that's you. <laughs> Good 
we are showered we are dressed my hair is still drying from the shower and we're on our morning walk we're going out a bit late today than what we normally would because I slept in and Pip slept in, which was actually kind of cool when we have the same sleep schedule. It's very helpful to me. <laughs> I also realized I had a gift card for Starbucks, so I ordered myself an iced coffee and we're gonna go pick it up. Okay, so we're back from our walk and now I'm sitting down to do my work work. My actual place of employment needs me to write a 3,000 word script that's due today and I haven't started. Fuck. <laughs> 